Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shneva Early, a craft doctor, and I'm here with the next video. This is shoot sheet load of cards for May 2021. So what we're doing is a standard A2 size card base, and it's going to open up like this. Okay, so it's going to be it's one of the special editions, and it's made only with six by six papers, which is really fabulous. So you can use up some of those six by six pads that we all have. We all have a bunch of them, or you have a twelve by twelve. You can cut it in half. And you actually can use two sheets and make a stack of these. So um, let's get started. This is really one of those quick, quick, quick cards. So let me show you what you do. Okay, so we have our card base and it's opening like this, remember, okay? So then we have this piece and I'm using this paper came from um, my stash that I bought today or yesterday and it is from the Marco Marco paper Marco paper uh, fresh sage it's 25 sheets in this and this was the buy one for $5.95 or buy two for ten dollars so I got well I think I bought six packs of different colors um, paper Okay, and this paper, pretty, pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Is it 80 pound um, or 110? Yeah, it's 80 pound. Okay. So this will go straight down to the card base. And um, I, I did a haul on that tape that I bought for this gun, the tape gun that I bought from Uline. And look at that I'm out of tape um, the tape that I bought from Uline and it works fabulous I love it it's um end up being much cheaper because I bought it by the case as opposed to buying it from the store and since I have to change my tape I'm going to show you how to change your tape gun Okay, so let's lay this layer down. So this goes straight down. It's four and a quarter by five and a half card. And our card base is um, four by five and a quarter. Or it's because it's four and a quarter by five and a half card base. So our card base is four by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. Okay, so let's now change out this tape from this tape gun. It's super easy as long as you put it in that right direction okay so you just pop this little piece out of here ah. okay and this comes in a, a case and it has this it this it has this um, sheeting in between it so they're not touching one another so I just I'm carrying it in uh, I took some out to carry in my bag as I work at the show today okay so now let's pull that tab off and the arrows tell you oh, you can't see the arrows wait let me see my you may be able to see the arrows maybe I, there we go I had stuff in the way why is my screen wrong there we go I'm wondering why I can't see stuff at the bottom okay so there's arrows here that you can, that show where to go. So you lay your tape down on here and that clicks in. If you didn't hear it, it clicks on there. Lay it flat and it's hooked right here. See that it's hooked right there. And then you take it, you release this part and you put it right here in between those two in between those two yellow things I mean orange things and then you run it back around and give it some leverage and as you give it leverage you bring it uh, you bring it over to this piece here and what I have to do is bring this over here so there is some notches in here there's notches can you see those notches let's see let, let me make it 
single focus. You see those notches right there? Those notches is where you feed the tape. And because I've had this gun for so long, there's always there's already tape residue right here. So this sticks right to it, okay? And then before you close your gun, before you close it, don't forget to put this piece back on. And it tells you which way is open or closed, okay? So don't forget to put that piece on. Okay, and then I always check this to make sure it's sticky because if I don't, I may have put it on wrong. So always make sure you check to make sure that's sticky and then put this back. Okay, and when you put your, when you put your gun, when you first put a fresh roll of tape on, um, it's generally very um, slippery or slick. I don't even know how you pronounce, how you, how you would say it, but it, it rolls better. See, I didn't tighten this, because what this is to, does, you tighten this up. And so it, it rolls so much better because you don't have that friction of being out of tape. Okay, and then you mat this piece you mat this piece together with this and it's a perfect mat around so you're gonna mat that let's bring you down a little bit down a little bit closer okay and so you mat these together and then this piece here um, you mat this also um, did I cut the wrong pieces mm. oh this is the right piece. This piece. You take this piece here and you mat it with this piece. Hmm, that's wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong piece. It's this piece. <laughs> this is the mat layer that you mat on here. Okay, so that goes right together. You mat those two pieces together. Okay, so let's, and it, it rolls like butter. When you put that piece on, it rolls like butter. Okay, just like that. And then this piece, this piece is the piece that the sentiment goes on. I'm not gonna put anything on this because I don't have the sentiment. So first we have to do is we have to corner around one side, corner around the other side, and then we do a little flag. And if you don't wanna do these flags or whatever, you don't have to, but you do the flag, you put cut right in the middle, and then you meet it to that center. And that gives you your flag. And you do the same thing on the other side. You start at the point, point your scissors to that center and cut, and you have a flag. You see that? You have a flag. I overshot that other side, so I'm just gonna go in and just take off that little piece. And so see, you have a flag. And that's how you do it. Okay, so then we're going to put this together because that, that's all you have to do. So this is my card base. We're going to take this piece and this mat right here. I would even say emboss this so it can look a little bit uh, more texture on there and not so plain to um, get you an embossing folder, whatever one you like and emboss it. But for right now, we're not gonna emboss. We're just gonna put this piece right here, okay? Then we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna put it down, but I'm not going to put the sentiment on it. I'm going to put the sentiment on here later. What I probably will do is um, put the sentiment on something else and put it on here and pop it up. Like I'll get a circle or a square or something and put the sentiment on there. And then you take this piece and you're just laying this right across 
and beneath your sentiment just like that let's make sure that our card is straight and of course it is not okay Okay, and that's, that's what our card will look like. So I will put a sentiment right here. And of course, I can't do it now, but I will put some stones or something on there. So when you see this card put together, it'll include the sentiment and the stones. So that is how easy it is to do this card. And this is sheet load of cards, May 2021. Okay, and there will be six cards when you're done. All right, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.